Last year, Cody, Kenny Omega, and the Young Bucks put together a show that sold out the Sears Center in Chicago. A little show called All In. Well, they did it again. Tickets went on sale Friday for All Out. The sequel to All In and All Out is now sold out to the tune of about 11,000 tickets, which is all that building can really fit. The problem is, at one point, there were in excess, I guess maybe it's a good problem to have, but there were in excess of 60,000 people in queue waiting to buy tickets for this show. Now, the way the system worked, you could have had one person with multiple browser windows open, because each person's spot in line was randomly assigned, but even still, not all 60,000 of those people had browser windows open, so it's very impressive. I mean, the scalpers did. <laughs> Uh, and a lot of those tickets did pop up on the secondary market immediately after. But even still, that, that's an impressive number of people jamming the system trying to buy tickets. They sold out in 15 minutes. So congrats to those who were able to score tickets if you are planning on attending. Uh, I was just in Chicago myself for the first time on uh, business this past week. I didn't have nearly enough time to go exploring. Uh, so maybe one day I'll make my way back there. But thank you, Chris Jericho, I guess, right? Since AEW won't say thank you to the guy, I'll jump in with everybody else and say thank you for them. Thank you, Chris Jericho, for selling out another show. Uh, anyway, he takes on Hangman Adam Page on that show to crown the first ever AEW World Champion. Uh, and it is now official, not a big surprise here, Kenny Omega will challenge John Moxley. So the two top matches have been announced for that show. 60,000 people in queue is very impressive. Even if it was 40,000 or 50,000, it's very impressive. And I think it's pretty safe to say after, you know, these last few shows that they should run a bigger building next time. I think they have to, whatever their next big show is. It may not be until next year. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a stadium, although I think Tony Khan can probably get them into one. Uh, <laughs> one in particular down south, but it doesn't have to be a stadium. Uh, but I don't think they should have a problem you know, kind of the next thing to graduate to is shooting for a twenty-five to 30,000 seat venue. I think that would be a, a healthy number of people to shoot for in the building, twenty-five to 30K. Look, this has become a destination trip for a lot of wrestling fans. People have shown that they are willing to pay money to travel to wherever they are and wherever St StarCast plants its flag. Yeah, I know StarCast is coming back that weekend as well. And soon, more companies are going to start piggybacking off the show the way that they do WrestleMania. And I think that only helps AEW. Of course, 60,000 ticket buyers is very different than 60,000 television viewers. And if that first TNT show did uh, 60,000 viewers, they would be in panic mode. They probably wouldn't be on TNT very long. I still think they need at least half a million viewers to consider that first TV show a real success. You know, say, say they get a spot on Tuesdays in prime time, which has been the rumor, Tuesdays or Wednesdays. And I know Tuesdays they have NBA, but let's say they work it out somehow, right? Tuesdays in prime time, right now TNT has a show called Animal Kingdom in the slot that AEW would likely be in. And it's averaging about a million two in viewers, at least for some of the more recent episodes. So I think half a million for that first show, or the initial shows is being more than fair, even if it is a new promotion. I know it's a brand new company, takes time to grow, but they're going to have to have, I think, a sizable enough audience right out of the gate, uh, because if they have that first show and the first slew of shows, and they're doing, you know, Lucha Underground numbers, which was on a, a horrible network compared to TNT, then they're going to be in a lot of trouble. So I'm, I'm more curious... Uh, more than anything else, come September, October, to see what they do in terms of television viewership. Because it seems like a lot is really hinging on this TV deal. And that's going to really, I think, tell the tale going into next year of AEW. What is that initial audience? How many wrestling fans are there who are willing to sample this product and give them a chance? How many lapsed fans are willing to come back and even know that there's a new promotion starting up? How many old WCW fans... 20 years later, like, hey, you know what? I want to check out this new wrestling promotion. There's a lot of questions about the makeup of this audience that I am very curious to see how this plays out.